Maybe uh, we can continue with the uh, questions and answers because uh, if I talk on one point for a long time, maybe you'll get bored. So the questions are various, so therefore maybe it's better that we answer those questions. Uh, there are lots of questions, so <clears throat> we have picked up some of the um, interesting ones. Mm -hmm. The first question we have selected is, how do you explain reincarnation to people who are completely unfamiliar with Buddhist logic and teachings or concepts? Reincarnation, this, that took the young city, then it should turn the chicken till the condition. There's too much sign. I don't know. Hmm, what is the reincarnation? How do you explain reincarnation to somebody who doesn't have any Buddhist culture logic? Buddhist logic shows what a Buddhist logic Hamugo can have on Buddhist background Hamugo as well. Can you shake this? Chidangi Joanga Sadi. The Buddhist logic of Islam is that the Buddhist logic is that the Buddhist logic で、で、そんぼるじ、やめるじ、さめじ、たぶん、みるもんぼじ。うん、べらかしろだ。え、すぐなのと、すぐにやれ。で、4個1個1000円で。すぐにさんとまするだ、ティサンティヨンディヨン
有没有这些困难？看出来，南北的线呢，马线呢，过来，你往不进去，人心的，人心别错呀，那那里啊，这里有的多，这里就是啥呢？呃，对对，看出来，呃，这几件，你不得，怎么领导了呀？第三，我做
doubt about it. Then third, thirdly, uh, there are lots of people uh, who remember or who, who think that they remember their past lives. And this is not something only happening uh, in Buddhist countries or among the people who believe uh, in the life after or life, life before, but all different kind of people, all different kind of countries, uh, these, there are lots of people who have this experience of believing that they remember their past lives. And this is something that we cannot, or people cannot totally explain. So therefore, uh, probably this has to go into that category where people cannot still explain fully. So therefore, could be had, had to go in this category where uh, we have to put under, at least under doubt. Sorry. Mm. Namba Tigre, I am modest. Today we do not teach you the Nelengue logic point of view. Can you, hear, can you hear me at the back? Yes? Okay. <clears throat> so if you look from the Buddhist point of view, then the logic is like this. Mm. For instance, if you, if you take the case of a child, a baby, just born. This baby breathes, and this baby has uh, awareness, a consciousness. Now, the, the breathing of the baby, the body of the baby, as well as the consciousness of the baby has to, has to, be, has to come because of the causes and conditions. And these causes and conditions has to be of a similar nature. Uh, if, the, 
is the same quality, same kind of nature. Otherwise, the, it cannot be. Uh, if there is a kind of, uh, if there is no previous uh, similar thing, then it cannot produce the next, uh, the same kind of things. You know, everything that is same kind has its own, uh, own continuum. And so therefore, it cannot be created something totally different. So therefore, now we take the case of the consciousness of the baby. Now the first, you know, the, the, the consciousness that the baby has, has to be produced also with the same type of cause or conditions which has to be a consciousness. And that consciousness, the, the, because, you know, a consciousness is by nature something aware, something clear, something luminous. And if that is not there, then, you know, something that is totally different quality, different type, or different in, uh, in characteristic, uh, cannot uh, cannot create something totally different. So therefore, something that is awareness or consciousness is cannot be something that is just form or materialistic, material, just a kind of matter. Matter cannot create uh, awareness or consciousness. So therefore, uh, it has to be, you know, the, the, the consciousness has to have a similar cause, similar condition, which, is, which has to be another consciousness. Mm. <laughs> Sujantam <laughs> So therefore, you know, the a matter, uh, just a matter, has its own kind of continuum. And if that matter uh, turns or can turn into awareness or can produce awareness or a consciousness, then everything that is material, or every matter has to produce that and has to be awareness and consciousness. But that's not like that. The consciousness or awareness, the mind, by its nature, is something that's knowing, something that is aware, something that can experience. And that kind of, a, uh, that is, something that is with us in our body that we can actually experience, we know, we, you know, we experience that. La. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Today, you said, Yimbi 
ဖွဲ့စည်းကျင်းဝင်ချက်တွေမိတ်ထမ်းချက်တော်လေယာကြည့်လည်ခက်ပဲရုပ်ပါတယ်ဒီကတဲ့တာရဘတ်ကြည့
Mm, okay, okay. Mm, finished. Uh, Your Holiness, please could you explain the meaning of the antidote? Antidote. Antidote, giving victory to others. And, and could you please give an example? We don't give victory to others, you know. Actually. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Maybe this is no problem. Um, I think this is two things. There are two things. One is that you actually implement this, that you give victory to the others. Uh, and another is you exercise in your mind uh, as, it, as a training of the mind, that in your mind you allow your mind to give victory to the others. Mm. For instance, we, when we do the Tonglen practice, mm. so we, in our meditation, in our ex meditative experience, uh, we take on uh, all the negative things of others uh, in, into us uh, as a kind of something dark, something, you know, uh, pollution or something like that, and we yeah. take it on yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And then all our good things, like our positive uh, actions, our health, and all the positive things that we have, uh, we feel that we give it to all others. Mm. This sort of... This is a training of the mind. Uh. Uh. Okay. Then, I know the... Kasian, <laughs> Tawan 
这个我们大部分人，其他的传统的结果，传统的嘛，俺上不有，我们都上不怎么多，没事。先开始说啊，就，这个嘛，俺从那时候，这现在的哈尔滨那里啥的，第三，那就是，这个现在，嗯，让经